Good morning, all of you. Today we are going to learn our new lesson, lesson number eight, algebraic expressions and operations on them. So we are going to learn first algebraic expressions. What is algebraic expressions? And after that, we will perform operations on them. So first, to look at here algebraic expressions. Look at the arrangements. of sticks given below and observe the pattern so you have to look this arrangements of sticks so arrangements of sticks here 1 2 3 4 it's a square arrangement then here 2 square 3 square after that we have to observe this pattern So first here one square after that two square three square after that four five six like ten and n squares number of squares are there here squares here one square here two three four up to ten and up to n after that number of sticks so now here one square in that how many sticks one two three four So four sticks are there. After that, here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So total seven sticks. And here ten sticks. For that, here thirteen. Four square is thirteen. And here for ten you have to find, and for n you have to find. Similarly, look at here. Number of sticks here four. So three plus one is four. Then six plus one is seven. Nine plus one is ten. Twelve plus one is thirteen. So then here three into one. So number of square is one. Three into one plus one is four. We got number of sticks. After that here two square. Then in three we have to multiply by two. Three multiply by two because here two square and plus one this one. So three two is a six plus one seven. Again here, number of square is three, so three multiplied by three plus one, so nine plus one is ten. Similarly, this one. So here, number of square is ten. For three multiply ten plus one, and here number of square is n. Three multiply n plus one. This is a number of sticks. Next. On observing the pattern above, we notice that number of sticks equal to three multiply number of square plus one. So we did here. Here three three multiply number of square is one. Here number of square is one and plus one. Similarly, this one. So number of stick we got here. Here the number of square changes. We could be any of the numbers two, three, four up to ten. So here पे क्या होगा number of square है वो change होगा. जैसे यहाँ पे one number of square था यहाँ पे two, three, four, ten and तो ये change होता जाएगा. But जो दूसरा pattern है मतलब यहाँ पे three है और यहाँ पे one है ये change नहीं होगा. सिर्फ यहाँ पे number of square change होगा. तो ये अप टू एन तक जा रहा है नंबर ऑफ स्क्वायर एन एन इज अ वेरिएबल सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर व्हाट एन इज अ वेरिएबल थ्री मल्टीप्लाई एन प्लस वन विच इज विच इज सेम एज थ्री मल्टीप्लाई थ्री एन प्लस वन तो हम यहाँ पे ये जो मल्टीप्लाई के सिंबल है ये निकाल के सिर्फ हम थ्री एन भी लिख सकते हैं दिस इज अ ट्रू वे दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू वे बोथ Is an algebraic expression in the variable n. तो ये क्या है algebraic expression है with the in variable n. So now here, look at here. Here two pictures, two box are there. So here one, two, three, three balls. Here then three triangles and here one, two, three, three T's. Now next here two balls plus three bats. Then two mangoes plus three Guahas. Then x plus x. How many times x? Two times. The so two x is there. Then y plus y plus y. How many times y? One, two, three. Three times y. 
सो टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई तो आपको ये जो वेरिएबल वाइज लिखना है सो हियर टू एक्स बिकॉज ऑफ दैट हियर टू हियर टू टाइम्स एक्स दैट्स वाई हियर टू एक्स एंड हियर थ्री टाइम वाई सो प्लस थ्री वाई सो ना नेक्स्ट इज पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल सो हियर फर्स्ट लुक एट दिस रेक्टेंगल वी नो दैट लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ ओके एरिया सो हियर पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज टू एल प्लस टू बी सो हियर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एल टू टाइम्स एल मीन्स लेंथ टू टाइम्स लेंथ प्लस टू टाइम्स ब्रेथ नाउ टू इज कॉमन हियर हियर टू एल प्लस टू बी टू एल प्लस टू बी सो टू इज कॉमन दैट्स वाई टू टेक आउटसाइड एंड इन ब्रैकेट एल प्लस बी सो हियर थ्री एन प्लस वन थ्री टी टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई टू इन ब्रैकेट एल प्लस बी आर अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव टू कॉल अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो नाउ लुक एट हियर हियर इज एन हियर इज टी एक्स वाई एल बी सो वॉट वी कॉल फॉर दे इट्स अ वेरिएबल तो ये क्या है वेरिएबल है From a to z, okay. So here n t y l b x. तो इसके जगह पे कुछ भी आ सकता है a to z. तो उन्हें हम क्या बोलेंगे variables. तो ये यहाँ पे in this expression n t y l b x are the variables. So now next, let's learn. In the expression three x, so here three x is there. So three is a coefficient of the variable x. So now we learn here x is variable. Then three remains. So what we called coefficient of this variable, coefficient of x. So यहाँ पे x क्या है हमारा variable है तो three क्या है हमारा coefficient है. So now if there is any number with our variable so we have to call coefficient अगर वहां पर कौन सा भी number है हमारे variable के साथ तो क्या बोलेंगे उस variable का वो क्या है coefficient है मतलब अभी यहाँ पे थ्री एक्स है तो हमारा एक्स वेरिएबल है एंड थ्री हमारा कोइफिशियंट ऑफ ए वेरिएबल एक्स तो एक्स का कोइफिशियंट है थ्री सो इन दिस एक्सप्रे इन द एक्सप्रेशन नाउ हियर माइनस फिफ्टीन टी so here t is a variable and minus 15 is the coefficient of the variable t so similarly an expression in which multiplication in is the only operation is called term ab hum inhe kya hai multiplication hoga na jaha pe bhi usko hum kya bolenge term bolenge so now uh, here an algebraic expression may have one term or many be the same may be the sum of several terms so algebraic expression mein kya hoga ek term hoga nahi to fir sum hoga terms ka sum hoga bahut sare term ka so now yahan pe now look at here here is one table term coefficient and variables so now we learn here 11 mn so here mn is a variable and 11 is our coefficient so coefficient is 11 and variable is m n so now minus 9 x square y cube so minus 9 is a coefficient x and y so now here x square is there and y cube is there but only variable we have to take okay x and y is the variable don't write x square and y cube okay after that 5 by 6 p so 5 by 6 is the coefficient and p is our variable so now only a is here so here one is a coefficient of a and variable is a so example in the algebraic expression 4x square minus 2y plus 5 by 6 xz is there so now here first term is 4x square our first term in that 4 is a coefficient of x here minus 2y is our second term minus 2y so minus 2 is our coefficient 
and here 5 by 6 xz so xz is a variable and 5 by 6 is the coefficient now next remember the algebraic expression 15 minus x has a two term the first term is 15 is a number the second term is minus x here the coefficient of variable x is minus 1 so now look at here second term is minus x so we know that if here we learn here also a there is no number it means 1 so here also minus x here is no number it means minus 1 we have to take terms which have the same variables with the same powers are called like term. So, here pe same variables with the same power. Okay. So, we have to call like terms. So, now we have to first take look at here examples. What is a like term? So, here like term and here unlike term. So, example look at here 2x. 5x minus 2 by 3x. So here 3 terms is here 5, 2x, 5x, then minus 2 by 3x. So here degree hai ke yaha pe kuch bhi power hai. x raised to something nahi hai. Look at here. Here x raised to 2 and y raised to 3. Aisa yaha pe hai kya kuch something raised to hai kya nahi hai yaha pe. कुछ भी पावर रेस में नहीं है तो ये सब क्या है लाइक like टर्म्स है सो नाउ लुक एट हियर इन द एग्जांपल 2 minus 5 x square y अब यहां पे क्या है x square y है वेरिएबल आपको देखना है वेरिएबल सो नाउ लुक एट हियर इन नेक्स्ट 6 by 7 y x square अब यहां पे y वन टाइम है और यहां पे भी वन टाइम है और x का क्या है स्क्वायर है और यहाँ पे भी x का स्क्वायर है मतलब आप x स्क्वायर y लिखो या y स्क्वायर y x स्क्वायर लिखो सेम है सो so, यहाँ पे x स्क्वायर x का पावर 2 है यहाँ पे भी x का पावर 2 है यहाँ पे y का पावर 1 है सो so, यहाँ पे भी y से uh, uh, 1 है पावर तो so, यहाँ पे क्या है लाइक टर्म है आफ्टर दैट अनलाइक टर्म्स सो x सो हियर 7 x y ओके okay, अभी अनलाइक टर्म मतलब क्या है वेरिएबल भी डिफरेंट है पावर भी है सो नाउ यह x एंड y है यह y स्क्वायर है माइनस टू एक्स वाई जेड अब यहाँ पे x है पावर वन x विथ पावर वन सो हियर इज नो x एंड हियर आल्सो x विथ पावर वन बट हियर y इज विथ पावर वन y इज विथ पावर टू y इज विथ पावर वन here is z with power 1. Here is no z. मतलब हर अलग अलग है. Variables. यहाँ पे x, y है. यहाँ पे y square है. यहाँ पे x, y, z है. तीनों का different variable है. मतलब क्या है? Unlike है. यहाँ पे देखो जो variable था same था और power भी same था. तो ये क्या है? Like variable है. So यहाँ पे 8m n. 8m square n square. 8m cube n. तो यहाँ पे power क्या है? 1 1 है यहां पे 2 2 है और यहां पे 3 1 है पावर डिफरेंट है बट वेरिएबल सेम है तो हमें क्या है वेरिएबल भी सेम होना चाहिए और पावर भी सेम होना चाहिए जैसे यहां पे वेरिएबल x x x सेम है और पावर भी 1 1 1 है यहां पे वेरिएबल x विद पावर 2 x विद पावर 2 y y तो यहां पे जैसे कॉमन था ऐसे यहां पे अनलाइक है डिफरेंट वेरिएबल विद डिफरेंट पावर so, this is unlike term and this is a like term. After that, next, type of algebraic expressions. Expressions are named after the number of terms they have. Expression with one term are called monomial. So, now look at here. Monomials with one term. Only one term is here. Expression with one term. Here minus, sorry, here 5 by 6 m. Here minus 7. So, jaha pe bhi one term hoga sif, wo kya hai monomial hai. So, now those with the two term binomial, with the three term trinomial, if they have more than three term, they called are, they are called polynomials. So, now if there is only one term, we called monomial. If there is two term, we called binomial. If there is three term, trinomial. But more than three, 
if there is four term five term six term seven term up to n term we called polynomial okay say so only one term monomial two term binomial three term trinomial if there is more than three terms we called always polynomial if there is four term polynomial five term polynomial six term polynomial seven term polynomial so here you have to identify this one and you have to write this in your notebook for your better practice so now here i'll we have to solve our practice set 32 which is based on monomial binomial trinomial and polynomial so look at here our practice set 32 classify the following algebraic expressions as monomials binomials trinomials or polynomials so what you have to do you have to classify this expression this algebraic expressions as monomial binomial trinomial or polynomial so look at here here answer monomial binomial trinomial and polynomial so we have to identify so look at here first term 7x so here only one term only one term means it's a poly monomial sorry it's a monomial we know that in monomial one term so we have to write in monomial 7x because here only one term so now look at here our example number 2 5y minus 7z. So it's a bin binomial two term. How many term? Two term. 5y and 7 minus 7z. There are two terms here. First one and this one is second term. A uh, two terms means binomial. So we have to write here 5y minus 7z. Then now third one. How many terms are there? One, two, and three. Three terms means trinomial, so we have to write here three x square minus five x square minus eleven. Now look at here our fourth one. How many terms here? One, two, three, four. Four terms means polynomial. We have to write here one minus eight a minus seven a square minus seven a cube. Now look at here fifth one. How many terms? One. And two, two terms means binomial. Five m minus three. After that, a only a is here means one term. We have to write monomial a. And now look at here. Here is only four is here. We know that if there is only number, that one also one term, different term. So this is our seventh one four. monomial one term monomial after that how many terms here one two three three terms means trinomial so you have to write here 3y square minus 7y plus 5 so you have to solve this practice set 32 for your uh, understanding practice this one Till here, thank you.